If you want to know how to create this armature for animation, stay tuned. In the last video we created the texture for our puppy and this time we built the armature. If you missed out the last video, it's not a problem, you can download the model from the link in the video description. Go to solid view by hitting the button here at the top and press 3 on the numpad for side view. With shift S we open the context menu and select cursor to origin. If you want, you can select the puppy, go to object menu and click on shade flat. This shows us the faces and loop cuts. It helps us when we create the armature because we can see the joints. Back to side view, we start to create the armature with shift A and add a single bone. The bone appears and is half covered with a geometry. Go to object data properties, the little green man and activate in front so we can see our armature even inside the geometry. Switch to edit mode and select the tip of a bone. Press RX90 to rotate around 90 degrees on the x-axis. GY to scale the bone down a little bit. Select the entire bone and GY to bring it back to the hips. I select the tip again and move it slightly up. The plan is to extrude the bone and follow the loop cut along the back, the neck, to the head and the snout. Press E for extrude and move along the loop cut. At the shoulder we change the direction up the neck. For this model I use the single bone for the head and the snout. After I take a closer look I see that I didn't match the loop at the neck. So I select the tips of the bones and move them to the correct position. Next step is to create the bones for the tail. I select the second bone and hide it by pressing H. Select the tip of the first bone and E, Z to extrude up. Go to bone properties and remove the option connect. After that the bone is detached and I can move it to the base of a tail. I select the tip and move it to the first loop of a tail. Then extrude it up the center line until you reach the tip of a tail. Select again the tip of the first bone and E Z to extrude downwards. Uncheck connect in the bone properties and place the bone into the center of the hips. Then I extrude along the leg like this. Hold down shift and select every leg bone. With 7 on the numpad go to top view and G X to align the bones with a leg. Press Shift S and select the cursor to origin again. Set the pivot point to 3D cursor, Shift D to duplicate the selected bone, go to armature menu and select mirror X. Now we add the bones for the ears. Hide the bone for the head with H and select the tip of the neck. Go to top view with 7 on the numpad and extrude with E X. Uncheck connect and move the bone to this position. Align the tip with the middle of the ear and extrude to the tip of the ear. Press 1 on the numpad to check our bones in front view. We need to move the bones down with G Z. Select the outer bone and move it down as shown. Move the tip to the center of the tip of the ear. In side view it looks good. Once again check in top view. Select the two bones, shift D and if your cursor is still in the origin then go to armature menu and mirror X. At last we need to build the front legs. Hide the first neck bones with H and select the tip of the backbone. Go to side view and extrude. Uncheck connect and extrude down the leg. We need to move the base of the shoulder forwards and the elbow back. For inverse kinematics we need a slight angle in the elbow. Select all bones in the front leg and go to top view and align the bones with the leg and mirror it to the other side. We finished our armature, 
So let's switch to pose mode. First I select the root bone. When I move this bone, all the other bones should copy the movement. When I select one of the disconnected bones, their movement should only affect their successors. Test a few bones in the middle of the chain, the elbow or the chin. Our armature is ready for animation and we could parent the geometry to the armature if we wanted to. But we want to improve the armature to make animation easier. Go back to edit mode and hide the shin of the rear leg. Select the tip and extrude with EY. Uncheck deform, connect and delete the parent. Move the bone with GY forward. Rename the bone to pole rear left. Bring back the chin with Alt H and hide the foot. Select the tip of the chin and EY to extrude backwards. Uncheck deform, connect and delete the parent. Rename this bone to IK rear left. Switch to pose mode, select the chin and go to bone constraints. Add an inverse kinematic constraint. Target is our armature and the bone is IK rear left. The pole target is our armature and the bone is pole rear left. This looks a little bit weird. Set the chain length to 2. The foot still has a strange rotation. We try 90 degrees rotation. This has the opposite effect, so try minus 90. To test the constraint, select the IK rear left and move it. The knee is bending automatically. That's the effect we are looking for. Select the root bone and move it and we see the knee is bending again. We also can control the direction of the knee with a pole target. You already noticed that the IK rear left doesn't affect the foot. To fix this, return to edit mode and select the foot and shift select the IK. Press Ctrl P and select keep offset. When we return to pose mode, we see the IK also controls the foot now. The only disadvantage is when we move the IK too far down, the foot disconnects from the shin. Select the foot and add a copy location constraint. Target is the armature and the bone is the shin. In this case bone.015. The foot is now located at the knee. Set the head tail to 1 to fix this. Now the foot no longer disconnects from the shin. We need to apply the IK constraint to the other legs. For the front legs I put the pole targets for the elbow in front. Now it's time to apply the armature to the geometry. Go to object mode, select the geometry, shift select the armature and press Ctrl P, armature deform with automatic weights. Select the armature, go to pose mode and select rendered view. Now the fun part begins, we play around with the armature. We set up and prepared successfully the armature for animation. And see you in the next video for creating a walk cycle.